Hey everybody, it's XRelic here, and yeah, it's finally here. I finally have a video on my channel. Um, I've been wanting to start my own channel since about March, and uh, I finally got my own credit card and, and ordered a, a hapage, um probably a week ago, and it showed up right before the weekend, but I was off on a, on a trip, house hunting for a university, and um, once I got back, I picked it up. So here's my first video. It is a 12 and 2 search and destroy game, one and in five rounds. And um, I, I just thought I'd talk about what kind of gameplay and what kind of what kind of style I usually uh, I usually put out and uh, what you'll be seeing from me on my channel. Um, I will be posting more than just search and destroy. I'll be posting um, something that I haven't really seen on a lot of other channels, and that is exciting gameplay. Like, I compare it to uh, sports leagues where a lot of people want to see the highlights. A lot of people like watching Sidney Crosby of the NHL, but in Call of Duty form, where, where people are getting 100 kills a game or multiple moabs. But there are games that are exciting to watch. There are games that really, um, you know, that they, they, they end 200 to 199 in domination, or 65 to 64 in kill confirm. Like, and if they're really exciting, um, you can, a, a really exciting thing about those usually is voices on the mics because it becomes really intense at the end. And I figure if I can catch those for you guys, that might be might be something interesting to watch um, on YouTube. And, uh, and for my style, I I usually use um, assault rifles and some machine guns. Um, sometimes I'll quick scope. I, I, I do like to have fun. Uh, I'll, I'll knife only sometimes and. Uh, You'll be seeing a bit of everything from me. Oh, that guy started. Um, that that that's my only early death in these rounds. Um, I, I couldn't figure out how to fast forward. Uh, may, uh, maybe I'll have to get a different program to record um, to to edit. Sorry. Um, yeah, but my my own style. I I like to uh, have fun. I like to I like to try hard, but I also like to mess around sometimes. So hopefully, I'll be able to get some. Uh, Nice variety on this channel for you guys. Something, something you'll enjoy. Spread game modes, spread play styles. Um, yeah, I, I just wanna, I just wanna make this an entertaining channel. You know what? I just want to um, put videos out there that you guys will enjoy watching, and listening to. Um, nothing intense. Nothing. Not, like I'm not the greatest player. I'm not gonna have triple quad moabs. I've, I've nearly gotten a double. I, I would say that's my best gameplay so far. Um, I will be posting that one soon, I think. It's in my theater. Um, I kind of want to see what the theater leg uh, brings that one to. Um, man, this round goes on for a long time. Um, and uh, I, I, I do like playing solo. I like playing with groups. I like I like everything. Um, and I, I know one of the biggest parts for me in Call of Duty is the community. and I like meeting new people online and, and they'll invite me and I'll play with them. I like to play with people I meet basically. I have friends but a lot of them aren't really serious so I like to kind of spread my game time around with people I meet and um, I mean if you guys want to play with me just uh, follow me on Twitter, send me a message. Both my Twitter handle and my gamer tag are xrelic, x-r-e-l-l-i-c, same as my YouTube. Um, and yeah, just you know what? I I'd love to talk to you guys, play with you guys. Um, uh, I'm I'm a friendly guy usually. I don't know. Um, I've started muting the. I used to rage quite a bit. Um, I started muting the enemy team so that I wouldn't. And my own team so that I wouldn't. Uh, I just like the competitive aspect of Call of Duty and when people troll on it while I'm having fun trying. Which is a little frustrating. Um. Yeah, what I thought I'd do now is talk a bit about this gameplay. Um, I'm using a PP90M1 with um, extended mags, nothing else. Um, I'm running Extreme Conditioning Pro, Quick Draw Pro, and Dead Sounds Pro. And I know a lot of people like to use SitRep Pro because of the, uh, the sound horn capabilities, but when I'm rushing, I'm um, using Extreme Conditioning, you know, that kind of thing. I, I, I like to be qu as quiet as possible because I like to sneak up, and even though SitRep kind of cancel that out it uh, it's still effective I mean it's, it's still quiet your footsteps a little bit 
Um, I am running support, and that's because I was trying to get a gameplay out, and I thought that would help me get a better one, and I'm right now in this corner, get a two-piece in the spawn. Go in this corner and get another. And I knew they were back there. I, I, I knew they were because I saw my teammates rushing the sides, I was rushing the middle, and I, no one died. No one got the kills. I I didn't see anyone in the middle, and, and that's when you know that they're, they're kind of being... Uh, safe in their spawn, and that guy, is, he, he gets hit markers on me, I kind of spray fire at him, he takes, he takes cover, so I, I, I managed to escape. Uh, check down here, make sure he didn't jump down, with that nade I made sure he wasn't there anymore, and uh, I kind of go after him right here, and because uh, I know I, I, I'm pretty good, I, I have decent gun skills, so I'm thinking if I go after him, I, I might be able to win this, because I know that the other team wasn't that great. Um, I'm not able to find him, so... So I'm not stupid, I'm not going to go after him when he knows where I'm coming from, and I don't know where he is, so I kind of back off a bit. And, uh, the thing is, I know he's still there. And I, I don't want to run away from him. I, I know these kids were were scared, he's lost his teammates, he, um, he's going to stay in his spawn. He, he's not going to leave it. So I'm kind of waiting here, I'm kind of waiting, I'm kind of watching, and I th he's got his UAV up, I don't have Assassin. He throws that stun, he gets that stun, and he's running in a little reckless. Because I managed to escape that stun, and uh, toss my own, and although mine didn't get a hit marker, I did manage to get away from his and get this kill, because I wasn't flash enough and managed to see it coming. I mean, if you, if you really watch, you could see the stun coming, and right as it comes, I start booking it, because I'm expecting something to come at me. Um, because of that good round, four kills, I managed to uh, get both my support kill streaks. Got a UAV, got ballistic vest. Grab a ballistic vest. Head over here. This is the last round. Um, and I don't always play this aggressive. I, I I just wanted to get something exciting for you guys. Right here, I see three of them up top, and I mean, I have an SMG. I'm used to having an AR usually, so I'm playing it as an AR. And right there, managed to get the double kill with my PV91, and it was a little lucky. They lined up for me, I know, and. Uh, but the gunshots were right beside the box. Nice hit markers on both of them, and uh, what? nice little kill cam. Final kill cam here for my teammate. Um, climbs you stairs, gets his throwing knife kill, picks it up, goes through the quick scope, misses it, but gets this throwing knife right in his leg. Mmm, double throwing knife final kill cam from this guy. So thanks for watching. Um, hopefully I'll have more videos out soon, and uh, follow me on Twitter. Subscribe and like if you did like it. And uh, yeah, um, hope to see, hope to uh, see you guys on this channel again later.